Hello guys, uh, this is my first video for my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm gonna do a React money spending app uh, right now. Let's begin. Uh, starting with CD my app. So npm start. Let's start with npm start. Yeah, this is this is the uh, whole page we can see. Let's try it uh, with uh, an expression h1, for example. Uh, React spending money. React spending money. Yeah, we, we have seen uh, this expression, uh, React spending money. Uh, what should we do in here? So first of all, we we are gonna build um, an header GS uh, top of this application. So uh, we should have an API. We, um, we should get an information from API. Um, we should map these uh, API products API. Uh, we should um, map these API and there should be a products in front of this uh, whole middle uh, part of this uh, application under this application uh, there should be a basket uh, a cart we can see we have to see the products uh, under this footer uh, let's start with the header GS we should first of all we have to uh, file components components file Inside this file, we have to build um, header JS. Header JS inside these header JS RFCE. This is the snippet header. Uh, what kind of header should we have? Uh, let's save this. Um, in this app JS, how can we see the um, header component in here? like this header so control space that's like this control space yeah he header header yeah this is the header uh, let's um, some h1 in header let's uh, type uh, something uh, inside of the header component we, c we have seen the header component right here so we should have a money we should have a money we have to see the money in front uh, in the header JS uh, how can we do it uh, we have to do it with props uh, right so uh, let's build a money hook uh, by using use state, uh, we will use use state use effect. Uh, let's import uh, two of these expressions. Uh, import inside the curly braces use state and use effect. Use effect, yeah. From from React. From React. Let's use use state. React, yeah. Let's use use state from here. Cost. Uh, we have. Um, we should have a money. Money. Set money. Set money. Equals to use state. We should have an initial value. So uh, ten thousand dollars is. It should be enough for our salary, right? Um, we we have to use uh, the money hook uh, with props. We have to send it to the header JS. Money we we can send it like this. Money. So the, inside these parentheses, uh, we if we uh, write down the uh, curly uh, braces with money 
we can see the money expression we uh, we can use the money props in here so our balance your balance is ten thousand dollars right your money so as you see we have seen the ten thousand dollars in here your balance yeah in here so let's go on with uh, the product we have to, uh, we have we should have um, helper inside the helper file we should have an API so let's build an helper helpers so inside this helpers uh, file we should have products products JSON it has to be JSON uh, it, should, it should be an API right let's build an API then our first uh, item should have an ID first of all ID 1 and our product should have a title right what can we say um, desktop computer desktop computer computer yeah so we should uh, the product should have a price price let's continue with price let's say one thousand dollars for let's build a four of four is enough right uh, ID to let's say laptop computer it is, it, it is like eight hundred dollars uh, what else can we say a keyboard a keyboard is mm, let's say 100 ID 3 ID 4 let's say this is the mouse you can say mouse is equals to 50 bucks yes this is this is our API we are gonna use this API uh, while we using while using um, map inside the curly braces uh, inside of the app.js under these header under this header co uh, component uh, first of all we have to uh, build a product JS we will use a product JS um, under these components let's build product JS JS yeah RFCE this is the snippet that we are gonna use so what else can we do um, inside the app.js inside the curly braces uh, first of all we have to import let's import import pro products from helpers helpers product json products json let's use this product api under the uh, inside of these curly braces so pro products dot map mm, how can we say pro product product um, we, we should use uh, a product component in here we have to uh, map we have to map the product component okay so product product this is our product component we have to uh, uh, there is nothing here we should do it manually so product from that components add product yeah we have imported this item so first of all uh, while we are doing map doing map uh, we 
should have a key first key what is this key uh, product that ID should a key uh, let me tell you uh, one trick one uh, applic one explanation um, we, we are seeing these products, right? Products, what is this products? It is our API. Whole API, whole products uh, is our uh, called products. So inside this app, uh, after this map, what is this product? What, what are we mapping? We are mapping these products. This is the product. So this is, these are the products. Uh, we have said we we have see, seen the key product ID. So one more product we should send uh, to the product. We should we have we have to use it. Product that product we we should use it. So let's turn back to the product JS we can inside this curly inside this argument we can use the product we, can, we, we have pulled it so we were gonna use it uh, what else can we say let's h1 with h1 uh, we can show the dollar we, we, we can show its price right so we can say dollars the curly braces product product dot price that price this is our price so let's see under these h3 tags uh, we can say product product dot title so we should have we should have uh, a button div right we should have two buttons um, sell buy um, and under these among these uh, buttons we should have uh, uh, numbers uh, when we press the uh, plus number it should increase when we press the minus uh, button the uh, it should decrease right let's go on so we are building an action div inside this div let's build a button minus button and among these buttons let's do it a span and one more button it is like this this is what are we gonna do we have mapped whole product API and this is one component this is one component when this is one component we have see we can see uh, all of these components in the page right we have mapped it so let's uh, we, after this we have we have to uh, we should have a basket uh, hook we should have a basket when we press the button uh, the product should add it to the basket when we uh, press the minus button product should removed from the basket we should see uh, from the console right so how how, how we are gonna do it uh, let's start with uh, something like this if there is a we have changed uh, in the basket we can see from the console how can we use it we should use the use effect FGS we first of all we, we, we can start with the basket hook const basket 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 set basket you can say set basket equals to use state there should be an empty list in here so after that let's see uh, the use uh, change if there is a change in the basket we we should see it 
uh, in front of the console uh, on the console uh, let's do it use effect right use effect snippet yeah if there is uh, there's something changed in basket basket let's say um, console something happened in the basket let's see it there we go if there is something changed let's see it uh, we can we, we should have continue with on clicks right let's go one uh, we should send the baskets to the here basket as, as a props basket so basket set basket equals to curly braces set basket we should use this uh, uh, the props while we using the add button and remove button uh, in the uh, product JS, JS. So in the inside of this product JS, let's pull basket and set basket. So let's go. Uh, how can we use it? Mm, let's see. Const uh, const add basket. This is the onclick of the uh, plus button. Add basket equals to. Let's build a function. Let's check if there is a something uh, matches in the product with basket. Right? We have to use a finds uh, function, building function. Let's go. Const check basket equals to basket that find basket that find item item ID equals to product ID product ID there is a check basket we are yes let's see like this check basket yeah we are gonna use an if explanation in here if, if uh, in here if check basket happens check basket happens what what should we do we should um, check basket that amount should increase by one increase by one we should uh, update the set basket we should update the basket like this set basket with set basket right set set basket uh, we sh if there is a check basket happens um, we should add the um, the other uh, basket items uh, like this three dots basket dot filter we should use filter in here we should use filter basket dot filter um, item again item ID is not equals to the uh, I mean the other ones product ID um, and we should add to the basket uh, with uh, the check basket item okay check basket so that's that's our first condition the other condition is else what should we do if uh, check basket is not uh, we have we, if we didn't find anything in the basket uh, if it is an initial uh, there is not a check basket in this uh, basket what should we do we should build it first so how can we do set basket we should set set basket we sh we have to update it right I have I will copy this expression we have to uh, update it right 
the other ones in the three data the other ones and uh, we have built it from the beginning so let's build it at at the beginning ID should have product ID so title should be product that title and we are building it from the first the amount should be one amount as one yeah this is uh, this is the add basket function so let's add it to the on click to the plus button right on click add basket add basket right so when there is a change there's something changed in the um, basket uh, we have to see it on the console right let's change it like this mm, we can adjust it it like basket so let's see it let's see it I'm gonna press the plus button and we will see uh, from the console a whole basket right let's go so I have pressed voila this is this is what what we uh, seeking seek yeah ID is one title is desktop computer amount is one let's uh, press it one more uh, the, there should this is the this is the first pressing condition this is the second pressing button condition if there is something so one more again and amount is two right this this is the this is the satisfaction satisfaction of the code so let's go on let's go on uh, we we are gonna build a remove basket right let's go uh, yeah this is const remove basket remove basket as equal yeah we are gonna build yeah a remove basket instead of uh, calling it the check basket uh, we can uh, call it a current basket or basket without current two x two variables right okay const current basket current basket uh, is equal to basket that file uh, item item ID equals to product ID so uh, let's filter the other basket items uh, and let's um, say it basket without current const basket without current basket without current okay so basket dot filter uh, item item ID ID is not equals to product ID so let's we have to build an if in there too if check basket that amount equals to zero there is no check basket in here I mean uh, otherwise uh, or uh, if we pressed uh, if uh, the amount of the check basket was one so we have pressed a minus button and there is uh, zero what should we do we shouldn't uh, we should update with cur cur basket without current right let's go uh, if a check basket amount equals to zero set basket uh, basket 
without current just uh, and else else if there is a uh, current basket is different from a zero what should we do we should do set basket and basket without current and current basket right yeah uh, we have forgotten something uh, we have to uh, decrease the number of the current basket amount right so current basket that amount minus equals to one we have decreased one uh, amount of the basket so we are check basket is is not check basket is here what else what, what is the check basket is not defined Oh, <laughs> it should be not check basket. It should be current basket. Current basket that amount equals to yeah. So on this uh, minus buttons on click, on click, we should remove. We should uh, do it. Text it remove basket. Remove basket. Yeah. So let's try it. Try it on the console. I have re refreshed it. Press, press twice. Press, press twice. So um, there's a two of a desktop computer. There's a two of these are the two of of a laptop computer. Amount two, amount two. So pressing minus button and amount one decreased by one. So let's see it uh, among these zero. Let, let's see it like this. So uh, we can we can build a const basket item basket item in here. It is the same as uh, current basket, check basket, and basket item. I have um, built a basket item um, out of the functions because I have to use it. Um, in front of the span among of this span okay so basket item uh, basket that find basket that find item item ID equals to product ID I, I will use the product uh, basket item in here and Java is inside this curly braces I will use a JavaScript uh, exclamation. Uh, if basket item is true, a uh, show basket item that amount inside of the curly braces or or show zero. Let's let's go. When I press yeah we can see the whole the tree number of three in here right that's that's we are gonna use so after that uh, one more thing we have to do we have to build a total we have to see a total number so we have to use a reduce number every time we press uh, the uh, start or minus button there sh we should see a total and uh, money minus total we have to see a current money we have to we can spend right so uh, inside the app GS we can inside the use effect like in here we can build a reduce function in basket item so what should we do basket that reduce basket that reduce um, we should have two uh, arguments so one of these is accumula accumulator so one of these item 
inside this item we should return every time every time, every time we should return accumulator plus uh, amount of the item multiplies uh, product products price right so how can we do it uh, we can do it like this um, item that amount multiplies um, products that find uh, pro product product um, product ID equals to item ID so it, it is not enough we have to uh, assign it with price right that's price so let's uh, assign it to the one variable and let's see on the console right okay const t equals to uh, this expression so let's see the basket so what is the matter what what is oh let's see it set total right uh, what is this array that reduce okay so we can assign so we can assign the set total from here right set set total oh I have I have forgotten something I have forgotten something I have to build a total from here const const a total set total set total our our initial value should be zero from the beginning in the set total uh, so we can assign set total like this yeah uh, you can see a basket from here uh, what should what I have done wrong product uh, product that ID item ID what it says reduce of an empty array oh basket reduce return accumulation product type a reduce an empty array with no initial oh initial value I have oh reduce should have an initial value right yeah I have already forgot this an initial value yeah this is an ac initial value of the accumulator should have zero from the beginning so can we see on the can we see the total uh, we can we can see something like that it let's do it like this um, so we have completed this uh, total um, reduce uh, uh, reduce process so when we press the plus, uh, plus button uh, total should uh, update it and I have to decrease the my balance right so we will se uh, send the total for the header as a props total total yeah header JS let's pull it total money minus total we should have we should see 
it's in front of the balance, right? Okay. Plus, plus, plus. Yeah, it is decreasing. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, that was so uh, difficult for me. I am a junior developer right now. I have to, I have to improve myself so much. Uh, thanks for watching me. Uh, I apologize. Sorry for my mistakes during the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, me. Thank you so much. See you.